What is going on guys, it's your boy Death Gun with another Monster Hunter World video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys what I consider to be the best ultimate slots loadout. What these builds consist of is giving you the best skills and the most amount of slots so you can put as many decorations as you want and customize your builds as much as possible. Keep in mind you have to have some pretty good RNG to have some amazing gems to make this build work. Nonetheless, it's probably one of the best builds out there for slots, so without further ado, let's get right on to it. For our weapon, we're going to be rocking the Zenojiva weapon, mainly for the two level 3 slots. For our helmet, we're going to be rocking the Guild Cross Circlet B, seeing as not only does it give us no weakness in elemental resistances, but it gives us 3 slots and 2 points in Divine Blessing. For our chest, we're going to be rocking the Damakus Male B, which gives us 2 points in focus, three slots and very nice elemental resistances keeping it neutral for our gloves we're going to be rocking the Valhasak braces b which gives us one point in peak performance three slots very nice defense and not that bad when it comes to elemental resistances for our waist we're rocking the damascus coil b which also gives us three slots one point into focus and very nice elemental resistances keeping it neutral guys for our legs, it's more of a personal choice, but I like going with Death Stench Heal B, which gives us two points into Handicraft and two slots, guys. And for our charm, I rock the Handicraft Charm. The reason for this is to maximize our Handicraft skill and give us full bar of white sharpness, guys. Keep that in mind, it's very important, but not necessary. And last but not least, we have the Evasion Mantle and the Affinity Booster to maximize our damage. Overall, this is pretty much the best build when it comes to slots. Let's go over some of these slots and the possibilities that could be unlocked. And I'm also going to show you guys another build that you can change to have a little different slot loadout and overall have more possibilities. So let's get right on to it. Alright, so let's have a quick overlook. In our weapon, we have two level 3 slots. In our helmet, our chest, our arms, and our waist, we have three level 1 slots. And in our legs, we have two level 1 slots. Overall, we have 16 slots, guys. So overall, think about it. This many slots, along with the skills that the armor we have on gives us, we have tons of possibilities. We already have Handicraft level 5. Focus level 3, Divine Blessing level 2, and Peak Performance level 1. We can slot in 7 Attack Jewels in here, another Divine Blessing, some Defense Vitality Jewels. There's so much stuff we can slot in here. We can slot in some Quick Sharpening Jewels. There's just so much that you could really put into this build. Now, I know there's a lot of you who are going to say, but what about level 2 slots? What if I want to put, you know, Weakness Exploit into my DPS builds and I have the jewels? Well, I have a build for that as well, and it doesn't change much at all. And here we have it. If we change our chest piece to the Brigade Suit B, it'll give us two level 2 slots, guys. So, overall, we will end up with Handicraft level 5, Max Divine Blessing, 1 point into Focus, 1 point into Peak Performance, and when it comes to our slots, we'll be left with 2 level 3 slots, 2 level 2 slots, and 11 level 1 slots, giving us full power over our customized station. Overall, this is just one of my personal builds as I go in the game and try to get all the jewels I need to maximize the damage or the defense on these builds. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Make sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more Monster Hunter World content. And if you guys want me to cover anything in particular, let me know. For now, your boy Death Gun, out.